subscription to the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the universe. I'm Ashley Skiller. I'm Jeff Kanata. Are you ready to get up to date? We got headlines for you. We do. You know, we have to learn to drive cars because we are bags of meat. But <laughs> where do self-driving cars go to learn how to drive cars? The answer is Cynthia. Scientists at the Computer Vision Center in Barcelona, Spain, developed a simulation for training self-driving AIs called Cynthia. And this program can help autonomous driving software recognize hazards, obstacles, and situations, and also figure out how to potentially react to them. As a driving AI uses Cynthia, it can use virtual cameras that mimic real-life car sensors and data to decide what an object is and how to react to it. There's a weather system, pedestrians, cyclists, and more inside the simulation, and everything can be tagged automatically instead of relying on humans labeling every object, which is very, very expensive. There's also a little simulated DMV guy with a clipboard, like, marking down, Ooh, you missed you. Didn't check your mirrors, Cynthia. But does a self-driving car cry when it fails the driving test? Did you cry when you failed your driving test? I never failed my driving test. Oh. Boom. I should have known that one. Like Watch right into that. Like shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> Speaking of cars, you have heard about car kits to upgrade your car. Well, check out these effects. They take it to the next level. 3D printing company Stratasys is collaborating on custom printed 3D panels for Daihatsu's Copen model. The process is now officially ready for final testing. Here's how it works. Effects skins are 3D printed car body panels that you can swap on your Copen depending on your mood. The panels have 3D effects and other designs and colors are available, making a wide variety of combinations for Copen drivers. 3D printing the panels takes a couple of weeks compared to a traditional two to three months and can be ordered for Copen's fenders and front and rear bumpers. The commercial rollout is planned for next year. I think we're going to see lots more of this. Yeah, I think so too. And I love this idea of it being kind of not quite a body kit where you have to actually uninstall. You could just let it snap on just new stuff. You can make it look cool. It's like geometric or yeah. it's got textures and things like that. Don't you think this is really the next level? Like, why have a car that looks like everybody else's car? I can have a car that looks like my own. I mean, I don't want to go to like, you know, early 90s MySpace page. No, I get it. I get it. But you could really create the thing you want. It's pretty, it's pretty simple now to do it. I really dig that. And I think uh, it helps with resale value because you can just snap off that piece and put on the original part. Which is pretty, pretty cool. cool. Uh, we are not doing a long show this week, guys. We said yesterday, uh, I'll be at VidCon. So, yeah, check out Ashley at VidCon. If you're going to be there, uh, you're going to be doing panels and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, moderating panels. I'll be doing some uh, Let's Play Live on the cool. show floor, I believe. And I'll also be a panelist. Uh, so it should be really fun. And uh, But we still want to hear what you guys have to say about this week's episode. So please yeah, go on. Because I'll be super lonely if I don't have you guys to keep me company. It's I'll be true. just at home playing Here's the Storm. Yep, and in <laughs> VR. It'll be very do sad. A lot of VR. Uh, please use the hashtag HeyTD to shout at us. Yeah, we appreciate that. It makes it a two-way street. Yeah. You ready for uh, our last selfie of the week? Yeah, of uh, this last of the of the is this? No, we have yeah, one, one more, more week, week yeah. of, of selfies. But uh, let's check out our photographer of the day. Today's photographer is Andre, who took this with his LG G2. Andre writes, "Hi, Ashley and Jeff, the little rascals of CNET." How does he know our nickname? Uh, that's really very perceptive. <laughs> he says, "This is a selfie taken on my LG G2 of myself and my mother, Frankie." In, a, in the pink shirt, and my sister, Shlonda. This picture was taken while we were walking in the Susan G. Komen breast walk in Raleigh, North Carolina. We participated to celebrate another year. My mother has survived breast cancer. That's awesome. She is a six year survival, and you have my permission to use this. This is really, really great. Oh my gosh, how best, inspiring is that? The best kind of selfie. This is the best kind of selfie. It tells a story. I got, I got family members in here. I mean, this is great. And can, and I'm so happy for your mom. Andre. Yeah. So happy that your mom. You have is the little rascal well. seal of approval on that photo. That was awesome. Congrats, and uh, you know, hope that's many more years to come. Yes. Yes. I agree. And if you guys want to send in your selfies, you have very few opportunities left to do so. We'll be changing it up yeah. in July. Uh, you can send your selfie to tomorrow at CNET.com. We hope to see that. Uh, that's going to do it for this week, right? Yeah. Make sure you... Didn't you say that already? No, I didn't. I thought you covered that. No. We want to know how to pronounce your name because I'm sure I messed that up in that one. Uh, yeah. I'm no, sure you did great. Those. Okay. You did great. Uh, we want to know the permission to use the, the photo. We want to know what device you took it on. We love those stories. We do. And yeah. you can find us on social media. Come hang out with us online. We're at our names on Twitter. Right. And then, of course, Tomorrow Daily. We're all over the shop. So come hang out with us. 
that is it for this week's uh, shows. We'll be back next week with a full week of delightful episodes and uh, our regular long show on Thursday. Yeah. And then we'll be off for an entire week, Fourth of July week. Uh, oh. we'll, be, we'll be out. We'll be out and about. I'm barbecuing. You'll be barbecuing for all the five days of the week. I think that sounds great. <laughs> That's Just what you don't do. stop barbecuing. Never That's stop barbecuing. Very important. Uh, so that being said, guys, we'll be back next week. Until then. Be good humans. Bye.